This is Ron Higgins for Noel.com and the Times Picoon. It's a Saturday, June 6th edition of the first cup of coffee. The first thing that comes to my mind every morning about college sports. This morning, it's looking back at last night's Super Regionals. The SEC got off to an exceptionally hot start at the bat. Arkansas and Florida and their victories combined for 31 runs. The rest of the teams in the regionals, the other six teams combined for 22. Just a really hot start by the Razorbacks and the Gators. And obviously the three other SEC teams and Super Regionals that begin play today, LSU against Louisiana Lafayette, Texas A&M versus TCU, and defending national champion Vanderbilt versus Illinois. All hope they come out swinging like that because that was an unbelievable start for the SEC. And it kind of really made you think that this league might get five teams in the College World Series that starts a week from today. And that very well could happen. You know, the SEC success in the College World Series is well documented. Uh, since 1990, the SEC has won 10 national champions, uh, championships, six by LSU. And since 1990, when you discount Missouri and Texas A&M, the new members of the SEC, they joined just a few years ago, 11 of 12 SEC teams have played in the College World Series. Kentucky is the only one that has it. So you can see how everybody in this league can play baseball and has a shot every year of getting to the College World Series. Uh, I mean, it's just an exceptionally deep league. And if the, you know, the baseball teams in this league, if, all, if five do get to the College World Series, it'll just match the women, which put five in the college, Women's College World Series. There was one by Florida for the second straight year with LSU and Auburn losing in the semifinals. So the, the baseball and softball talent level in the SEC is just incredibly deep. It's fun to watch every year at this time of year, and, and particularly here in Baton Rouge where, you know, Tiger fans kind of expect to be in this position every year. This team this year is really, really good. It's going to be a great series for Louisiana Lafayette. The weather's supposed to be good. No rain this week. So it will be a packed house, a good national TV audience. And we'll see how it plays out. This is Ron Higgins for Nolan.com and Tosh McCune. That's the first cup of coffee. We'll see you.